What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to our channel here at Vagabond Builds. Today, we're bringing you another comparison video between two cars. To my right, I have the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee in the Limited L trim, and we're gonna be talking about the exterior, interior, and specs, and we're comparing that this car over to the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee in the Altitude X, still an L 4x4, both of them, and we're gonna be comparing the, them Exteriors, interiors, and specs. But before we do, because we are not a sponsored video, we truly need and appreciate your guys' support. Please tap that like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you have something for us to film, here's our email below. Email us, we could talk details later. A special shout out and a thanks to Folsom Lake Jeep, Ram, and Dodge in Chrysler for providing us these beautiful cars for this review. Also, keep watching later on in this video, we're gonna be dropping an MSRP sticker for you guys to get an exact idea of what comes on these cars and the price tag on top. Now let's go ahead and talk 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So let's talk, what do we get under the hoods of these 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokees? And we only popped one hood because it is the same exact powertrain. And you're getting a 3.6 liter V6 engine, 24 valve, paired together with the eight speed automatic transmission which puts out 293 horsepower and 260 pounds feet of torque. A little bit about the MPG, everybody. It's 18 city, 25 highway, and a 21 combined with a 23 gallon gas tank size. Now, if we come over to the side of the car, let's go ahead and talk some dimensions. Starting with length, 204 inches, width in 78 inches, and height in 71 inches with a wheelbase of 116.7 inches. And also, uh, depending on the trimmer and whatnot, when properly equipped, can tow about 6,200 pounds of towing capacity. Now let's go ahead and talk the differences between, to my left, the silver car that you're looking at is the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee, and this is L, both of them are Ls, okay? Three rows, not two rows, okay? Wanted to mention that, we're gonna show you guys that later. But again, this is also the Altitude X trim, and we're comparing that to the L in the limited trim. And we're gonna be showing you guys the differences right now. So the differences in what we get on the front of the car. If you have the preferred customer package option added to the car, your limited will come with a 360 camera option with a little camera washer right over that. But the limited trim itself will add some chrome trim up on the front. Also, if we go ahead and drop down, we get the bumper sensors integrated into that lower front end area with the matte black plastic. Chrome trim added on that lower end also with the LED fog lights. Headlights are LED as well. We left the hazards on so you guys get an exact idea of what comes on that car. Now shooting over to the altitude, it's a lower trim so you're gonna be seeing a little less luxury on the um, altitude, but you get rid of the chrome and they add the matte black plastic, go down, and then again, no chrome, you just have a little black gloss trim down there. Everything is matte black plastic, but you do not get the bumper sensors on the altitude or the front camera because again, you gotta opt in for them, all right? Moving over to the side of the cars. Let's go ahead and talk wheel area. Now, keep an eye out. You're going to see many types of rims, many types of colors, sizes, tires, and all that good stuff. So starting with the lower trim, the Altitude X, what do we see? The suspension itself is a shock spring suspension, black gloss rim, and they're running the Bridgestones, and those are the Duelers HLs, and the size of the tire, let's go ahead and give that to you, is a 265.50 in 20. Comparing that over to the limited trim, which they get a nicer uh, tire, it's the Michelin Primacy LTXs, it is a 265.60-18, okay? So the rim is smaller, more tire, but they have the Michelins on it. And again, you get the spring strut suspension. Moving forward, on the altitude itself, you have no camera here because no 360, remember, no 360 surround view camera. So there is no camera here, but it's the black gloss with the integrated lighting onto the side mirror with the blind spot assist. But if we compare that over, you're getting a dual color mirror with a chrome trim adding it, that luxury from the front over to the side as well. Camera is right here under that side mirror. 
blinker lighting on again with blind spot assist dropping down chrome and then the black to match everything else matte black plastic trim going across those are both similar keyless fob entry on both right the doors the way the doors look wanted to just kind of show you guys how it would look when it's open the black gloss going around to where here you have the chrome on top and the black gloss on the bottom the roof rails okay again matte black plastic to where you have matte black plastic with the chrome trim so again all over the car they're adding just kind of more of a luxury feel on the limited l trim moving to the rear end with the altitude again up top the spoiler with the led lighting the wiper for that back glass you're go going to see again pretty much the black gloss with the matte black plastic trim and the bumper cover and all that good stuff but back here on the altitude you do get bumper sensors right bumper sensors with a camera integrated right over that license plate if we shoot over to the limited you get the live feed camera that's something that is very different um the led lighting system windshield wiper for that bad glass but again the chrome and you can see how much uh, richer it looks when it adds the chrome with that black gloss and the matte black plastic just adding some more character to it four by four and again finishing off with the matte black plastic bumper sensors are integrated into that bumper cover with a limited trim being stated now camera is integrated but get the camera washer on the limited to where you do not get the camera washer on the altitude okay let's go ahead and open this automatic lift gate on the limited automatic lift gate on the altitude so both you're getting that very convenient automatic lift gate effect now let's go ahead and talk some cargo in both because they are both the l you're getting 17 cubic feet of space with that third row up if we drop the third row down just like it is in the video right now you get about 50 cubic feet of space and then if you're dropping the third and the second row you get about 85 cubic feet of space on the left you get a button to close that tailgate some hook downs some personal cubby room personal pocket room with your tire situation going on and the tire is under the car P cubby room on the right with a 12 volt outlet okay shooting over to the limited trim pretty much the same exact thing that you're getting cubby room right and left lighting system that button hole the tie downs popping that up and again tires under the car with the uh, tire situation going on in there but now that we're pretty much done with showing you guys what major differences you see on the outside and some cargo area with specs let's go ahead and talk interior so now let's talk interior in the 2024 Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now this is the Altitude L X trim and we're going to be showing you guys right off the bat the main differences that you're going to see. So the Altitude being the lower trim, you're not going to get as much luxury in it and I'm going to point those out to you guys starting with the seats. Okay, so these are suede inserts. They are perforated with the leather sides on the seats. That is one difference to where the uh, limited will come with the full leather the electric controls on the passenger side seat this is manual control in the altitude but you will have electric control and then also the ventilation the limited will come with ventilated seats these are just heated no ventilation added okay also coming over to the door panel the door panel itself you will have different inlays the wooden inlays on the limited these are kind of a plastic kind of uh, designed feel with the ambient lighting you will not get ambient lighting inside the altitude but the limited does come with the ambient lighting all right the memory seating you don't get memory seating in the altitude which you would see right here moving to the steering wheel the steering wheel will look different because of the different inlays and trims so they will add those inlays and trims to the steering wheel but overall the um, controls and navigation are pretty similar the other differences two differences here with the side mirror you get the garage door openers placed on the right hand side of the side mirror and also the live feed camera to where here you do not have live feed up top one difference you have the small tilt slide roof sunroof option but the limited gets that glass that goes all the way over to the back of that second row seating continuing forward another difference also is the altitude does come with a sport on button 
to whereas the limited doesn't have the sport on but it has four different drive modes screen this is a smaller screen a eight inch screen comparing it to the 10.1 inch screen on the limited this is a smaller screen and this also doesn't have the uconnect interface with navigation system continuing down this is where you're going to see here on this panel where your drive modes are with the silver lever no drive modes okay but overall everybody this is kind of what the grand cherokee looks like similar setup overall but we just want to kind of show you guys what it looks like 10.25 inch infotainment i mean sorry driver cockpit cluster screen that they both are digital in both cars but again we just kind of wanted to show you guys what they kind of look like overall after the differences all right you can go through your info cards up and down left and right by the controls here on the left hand side Paddle shifters right behind that steering wheel, along with your controls for your windshield wipers and your signal lighting, all right? But now that we're showing you guys this and we're done with the differences here in the front, let's go ahead and show you guys differences on second and third row seating. So main differences, second row seating, again, the suede insert difference compared to the fully leather and the limited. Also, another difference is you don't get heated seating on the second row in the altitude and i'm going to show you guys that in the limited but overall th the rest is similar with the usb c's usb a's and the inverter okay get the mesh pockets in both as well but one more difference here on the second row seating are the visors you will not get sun visors on the second row to where here the limited you will have sun visors i wanted to show you guys also the space test i'm about six feet two inches Space test is completely clear. You guys can tell how comfortable I am. Head clearance is there, leg room is there, and you can also drop the angle to this back rest of the seat. That is very cool as well. And then let's go ahead and show you guys how to control these seats. Controlling by the lever here and here for that backrest. And if you wanted to bunny hop the seat forward, pull this lever there, and it literally pops that seat up for your third row passengers. Now let's shoot over to the third row passenger seating area now these are two seats and i wanted to show you guys kind of tighter back here so you're not gonna be putting your taller people again i'm six feet two inches and my hair is touching the top liner along with my legs are touching the front seats but again i think two passengers or two kiddos can sit here on the third passenger row pretty easy one main difference here on the third row is you have a cab camera to uh, the altitude, no cab camera, but the limited does get the cab camera, right? But on the right and the left, in similarities, USB-C, USB-A with a cup holder on the right and the left. Vents for passengers and animals. If you do have that, they get their fresh air here on the C pillar as well on the B pillars there, all right? But now that we're done showing you guys the main differences on the altitude, let's go ahead and show you guys what the limited comes with. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and show you guys what the higher trim, the limited trim has in this Grand Cherokee L. And starting with the seats, remember suede, but this doesn't have suede. This is full leather with electric controls, all right, and ventilation. And you're going to see that ventilation button right here with the little fan right near your heated steering wheel, okay? Now, those are the three for the seats. Let's shoot over to the door and show you guys the main differences. Now, the difference is that wooden look inlay, the memory seating with the ambient lighting that you probably cannot see in this video, but there is ambient lighting there. Just wanting to let you guys know, all right? The steering wheel, remember I told you guys that the trim changes with the inlay tra trim and this is slightly different, but again, overall pretty much the same shooting up to the rear mirror, okay? The two main differences are the garage door openers and the live feed that I'm gonna show you guys. Check that out, super cool. And that was the camera that I showed you guys up top by the spoiler in the back. And again, no frame here, all right? The altitude has that little boring plastic frame, but this kind of gives it more of a cleaner, minimalistic look. You don't get the frame, all right? And then up top, you get that big, difference in that glass that goes over to that backrest area of that second row seating okay it's tilt and slide sunroof option that is different remember i told you guys here no sport mode 
Why? Because we get the four modes here. All right, so you get the sand, mud, snow, auto, sport mode. Very cool. Now the screen itself comes in the 10.1 inch. Not sure if you guys can really see that. Let's go ahead and show you guys the navigation screen. Oh, uh, well, this is probably in night mode. And again, hopefully you guys can see it. But again, you get the Uconnect with the navigation and the split screen. So a way nicer infotainment system here in the Limited, all right? But again, overall, we're pretty much done with that. Again, this is the look. They both come with the wireless charging pad, the USB-Cs, the USB-As, the 12 volt outlets, the inverters, and all that good stuff. But I wanted to show you guys one more thing. And let's go ahead and show you guys that. Let's go ahead and start this car and just drop that car into reverse and get a load of the 360 camera. Now you're not going to get that 360 camera here uh, on the altitude, but you will get it in this car, the limited trim, and you can change the different looks. You can also look forward, different angles, and then from the different camera there as well. This is just very cool. I just wanted to show you guys that so you guys can see the main difference. And now we'll drop that back into parking. We're done showing you guys what the front differences are. Let's go ahead and show you guys second and third row. All right, everybody. So second row seating, the main differences, the wrap around the seats, full leather, the heated seating system. Remember I told you guys about that. There goes a button. That's the heated seat system. And then the sun visors. Difference also in that, all right? Of course the inlays, but I mentioned that up front. But again, this is what it kind of looks like with the mesh pockets, the USB-Cs, USB-As, and the inverter that you still get in the altitude. But let's go ahead, the same way you control this seat, you will control in the altitude as well as the limited. But I just wanted to show you guys, third row seating pretty much looks the same, but something that is different, and that is the cab camera that if you wanna see if Mikey is hitting Jennifer, or I don't know who, or somebody's not acting nice, you wanna check that camera right there, all right? But again, we're pretty much done with this comparison. And here's the MSRP sticker as promised. First to the altitude, this is the lower trim, all right? So let me know what you guys think. And now here's the MSRP sticker to the Limited L. And let me know what you guys think as well in the comment section below. We appreciate you guys watching our channel here at Vagabond Builds. If you have more info, drop it in the comment section below. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Keep watching. Stay tuned because we have more cool things coming. God bless you.